So tell me what else you're able to do with this. Well, again, you know, the possibilities are endless, literally. However, you know, again, if I'm a parent and I do not understand block coding at all, visiting this website and just following the tutorials can get me started to the point where I can follow, understand, and then create from there and innovate. Got it. So what happened with me was I, I was intrigued by this game because it reminded me of a game I used to play called air hockey. So I went ahead and created a game called Alien Invaders and I want you to try it out first, all right? Mm -hmm. And so this is my creation of Alien Invaders once after I have already learned and mastered the pawn game, which took me uh, seven steps to put it together. So after seven steps with the pawn game, I was able to formulate the fact that I can turn this game into something more personal. And so I went ahead and did that. This is the example of one of them. What's gonna happen in this game is when you hit the start, the alien UFO is gonna fly around the screen. You're going to use your finger to move the, the tank at the bottom of the screen, and you're gonna to try to uh, protect the earth from the alien invaders. Got it. Okay, so you go ahead and go, sir. This is the uh, start button here? Yes, sir. Oh, you lost already. What's going on what? with that? No. <laughs> Let's hit the uh, green uh, flag again. Where's the green flag? It's right up here. Okay. So what we want to do is get the, uh, and we might have to just pull the, um, there you go. Okay. And so you're on. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. oh, you're too slow. I'm gonna give you one more try oh, to see if you can get the so trick. This is, yeah? this is level nine. You really? put me on level nine. This is level you one. Just started me on level right. one. <laughs> We're gonna try all it right, again. Let's try it again. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Oh boy. You you feel it? Oh boy. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's moving kind of fast. I get it. Though. You get the yeah, concept, right? Yeah. So I thought about that and I said. Geez, if, if I could get two paddles and I can create the code to go sideways instead of up and down, I can create the game that I wanted to. Mm. So I went ahead and I created a game called Galactic Paddle Ball. And this is what it would look like. So in this one, it's a little more advanced. I already know how to uh, import images uh, using the upload system of Scratch. And I was able to personalize it. So now- So that's what I was gonna ask you. Yes. Right? I didn't wanna interrupt you. Not at all. So if I look at this and I said, hey, you know what? I don't wanna have aliens. I wanna make it my mom and my dad or my brother and sister. I can upload a photo of them and that could be the- Absolutely. Not only can you do that, but you can animate them within the system. So mm. I can take a picture of a full body picture. So wait a minute, then, so they yeah. can actually get a paddle. Yes. Put dad there in the picture and you're just whacking daddy. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah. Wait, don't say that. Ah. Wait till daddy gets home. Ah. <laughs> and so yes, <laughs> with Scratch, with Scratch the, um, you can absolutely yeah. go online. You can <laughs> upload uh, backgrounds, <laughs> images, and special effects that you can, and sounds that you can yeah. uh, upload into it. So this one is a little different with this one. We are going to use the up, down, forward, and back arrow to uh, hit the ball around. Now, this one's a little more busy. You're gonna notice that there's a little guy that pops up and he's a jokester. So he's gonna laugh every time he comes around and he's gonna throw you off from your game. This is just me getting a little more creative with that pawn game. I'd like you to give it a try. I'm gonna be using this side. I'm using the up. You use yeah, that side. Yeah. Up and down okay. key. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, there goes the guy. Oh. Okay. So notice the sounds. Oh. It's busy, the background. You chose the music too? Yes. Oh. I, up, up, there goes the little guy again. See how he diverts the ball? Yeah. Now it makes it a little more challenging. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he was playing on my okay. side. There. I got you, I got you. Oh. I gotta come out a little bit. Wow. All right, we have a little too much Think fun. about it. We could be here all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? This is this is this is amazing. This is great. This is for young people who are really gamers. You like to play your own stuff. First of all, it's for anybody. But if you really like game, make your own game. I think that's what we're, that's a takeaway. Part of the takeaway is for me. This is bigger than gaming. This is also learning how to code, right? And taking away the fear of coding and being active with your computer. But you can make your own games. And now, if I make a game, I love it, I like it, my friends play it, is there a way I can put this up where other people across the world can see it and play it? Absolutely, so again, uh, when you join Scratch, you're actually a part of a community. And with this, uh, again, this is just me on the third generation of the Pong game. 
my third generation because again I am the artist behind the keyboard mm. and so by the think about this if in two days I got to a third generation and I got to have so much fun imagine what you have if you have enough time at home with your child creating a fourth or fifth generation one you'll have fun all day with your child and you're actually gonna show them how easy it is um, so planting the seeds that'll make things grow right uh, I had a student of mine and I showed him the game he's a part of the community yeah he said, Mr. Bravo, can I take it home over the weekend and remix it? So what does that mean? You can share this out to the community. Somebody can upload. You will see the code available and then you can actually remix it to make it a little different and then send it back to me. And that's what he did when he created Space Hockey. So this is Space Hockey. Now the, uh, the point of this game is like you're playing air hockey, but it's in a space environment and we're using electronics rather than a physical uh, door. I mean, a physical table with physical equipment. And so with this one, is as easy as you move in the cursor, you're gonna be the uh, arm playing against the computer. And I want you to notice a few things. So notice that my games all started right away. As soon as I hit the start game, yeah. you better get onto that joystick, so that right? Intro to it, huh? All right, so. But before you start it, before you start it. It's before not gonna. Because we're, we're gonna get tied up in this game, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna play this on the way out, on the outro of this video. But can you just leave the parents and the young people again with the website and where they can go and make this happen for themselves? Absolutely. So what you want to do is you want to visit scratch.mit.edu. Right. And now you're listening to RYC STEM Review. Keep checking in with us for new updates on new things we'll be teaching. And you can also come down here. So everything that we're doing right here, we do right here at Renaissance Youth Center. I was just going to say right. that. Yeah. We do that here. Absolutely. Anybody wants down. to learn, come down. We do it. Boogie down, Bronx. That's right. So let's play a little space hockey on the way out. All right, sir. All right. So notice that this one, you have a menu, right? So when thinking about being the artist behind this keyboard, you think about the details that you want the person to have the experience when they play your game. So let's look at that. First of all, we have a menu. Let's go ahead and play against the computer. So you can go ahead and select that on your own. And whenever you're ready, sir, you're ready to go. And you have 40 seconds to beat the computer. You're moving with this cursor. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, a little fat. Ooh, ooh. 